Hi everyone. Today is June 23rd, 2020, and I haven't been here in a while. It's so good to see you all again. Thank you very much for coming back and watching. I have uh, quite a few finishes um, that I would love to show you, and some uh, some whips and some haul, and uh, tell you what my plans are, and maybe if there's enough time. I'll show you some of my finishes that uh, are in my bucket of shame up there. <laughs> All right. Um, I have them in order, but when I piled them up, the order might have got messed up a bit, so I'll try to get them in the best I can in the order. This is a pattern by Sub Rosa. Well, let's put my book. There we go. So not sure yet how I'm going to finish it. That's why it's not fully finished yet. But uh, I really liked how that turned out. I'm going to just highlight these so that I know what I've shown. Um, the next is a fully finished. It was a whip. And um, it was just using some of the DMC variation threads. And so this is one side. And then the other side and so I just finished it with some little buttons in the center and then I just stick it in my it's one that can go in my my bat or my display for smalls um, and it can stay there all the time so that's how come I like those ones um, let's put that one over there and the next one is um, just one that I fully finished that uh, had been finished, I believe it was last year I did this one. And um, it's a flamingo. I did it as a, um, a stitch along with calico. And uh, so this is my finish and I just added, I just sewed down the sides and then added some trim over top. And the back is just like that. So. I really like how it turned out and thought it was a cute finish. The next is a knitting whip that I had. Um, I was looking for some other stuff in my uh, craft room and uh, had to move a bunch of other bins so I started looking through them and I went, oh I haven't finished this one yet, oh I haven't finished this one yet. So I pulled a few out and uh, decided I was going to get a few finished. So this is um, a scarf that I made using that um, eyelash yarn. and So it's just black and white and it's really long so that it can, uh, and it goes well because my coat is black so it'll go well with my coat and uh, it'll be very snuggly keep me nice and warm so uh, so yeah I'm gl glad to have that done I had a little bit of yarn left over so I just sent it down to my sister and said you know do something with it or pass it on to somebody else so so she said I don't like stitching or knitting with that stuff but I'll figure out something she said so I said okay <laughs> the next is um, home of a needleworker this is a pattern by Little House Needleworks, and this is my version. And instead of the bird on top of the M, I looked through my patterns and found a cat and put a little cat there. So that's like my little cat Piper. So, so that's my version, and I really like how it turned out. Uh, I'm not sure yet how I want to finish that one as well, so... That's why it's not fully finished yet. The next two are ones that I fully finished. This one um, was stitched on 18 count. Um, it was a kit that my daughter bought me. And at the time, I couldn't stitch on 18 count. But it came with matting and everything, and, and uh, I wanted it to be finished that way. 
So a friend of mine um, volunteered to, to stitch it for me. And then it was sitting in the in the bucket of shame for a long time. So I decided to finish it, but not the way I originally thought I was going to. I had these little frames um, that I bought from Michael's. They're five by five. And I really liked it when I kind of put it on that and I showed my husband and he goes, yeah, go for it, do it. So I did. So this is cut down a bit from the original picture. But I really like how it turned out. Um, sorry for the glare. I can't seem to find a way where it's not glaring. <laughs> but I love how it turned out. So I had to cut away some of the stitching. But um, really like how it how it finished up. So then the other one. This, this is the one I originally bought the frames for. Was my... Peacock with Attitude. This was a pattern I had gotten off the net years and years and years ago. I think I was in a Yahoo group at the time. And uh, so I have no idea where I got it from. So, yeah, I really think that one turned out really well too. Piper, you do not need to lick on that. Stop. Then uh, the next finish is uh, something I made for my youngest daughter and I really like how it turned out and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back far enough to show you this but I will cover myself up if I have to. So this is a tree skirt that I made for my youngest daughter. I'm working on one right now for my oldest daughter. But So here's the one for my youngest daughter. There's the, and then I just used jelly rolls around the outside with a Christmas pattern in them. And then finished it off with a bias tape with a ruffle already on it that I already had. So I really, really like how it turned out. So, and she does too. So. I have so much stuff around me, I don't know where to put anything. Okay, the next one was um, a little birthday present I did for a, uh, a little boy who was um, having to not have all his friends and stuff around while he um, had his birthday, and he was a little bummed about that. So um, his mom went on uh, Facebook and asked for... Um, for her friends to send him birthday cards just to to cheer him up and stuff and um, so uh, I sent him a birthday card with some money in it and I also made a little uh, bookmark sorry I'm just trying to find the pa uh, picture on my iPad to show you on Facebook here so okay here it is so here's the bookmark I did Sorry. There. Okay. And uh, he really likes um, reading and stuff, so um, he really, really liked having a, his own bookmark with his name on it. <laughs> so um, I'll just go down and find what is the other one. All right. Then my friend um, that I stitch with sometimes had a birthday and uh, we don't normally exchange presents. We usually just have um, meat for lunch out. But because of this year being so crappy with, you know, quarantine and all that, I made her this tote bag. And on one of the, uh, has hers initial, her initials and my initials. And then the other one in. This was a, a pattern for um, a pin cushion and you sewed them together. 
and then rather than doing that I just did it like this and I really like how it turned out and so I'll close that up now because I don't have any more to show you on that way because I know those are those are harder but uh, when you want to be able to show you that's the only way I can think of how to do it so so the next is another knitting project and it is a pair of socks that I did so these are them here so that's how the yarn came out of the uh, out of the ball it was called a twin set so uh, something to keep my feet toasty warm so then the next is a Jardin Privé um, uh, autumn snow globe. So that's how I, sorry, cat hair. So that's how I finished it. And then it just has magnets on the back. Um, I have two rolls of that old magnet, so I'm using it up. So um, I just put them on um, a little magnet board I have, and I just change it out. So I just put summers up, and then, so now autumns will, or fall will be ready to go up as well. Put that there. And then the next is a rose that I, cross-stitch rose that I fully finished. And the back just has the green fabric on it, and I just stuffed it like a pillow. So, yeah, I really like how that one turned out. Okay. The next pattern is a Lizzie Kate. And housework never killed anyone, but why take a chance? I'll get this behind it so you can see it. And that was using the top color for housework was... Um, a shoot what is it threadworks and then i just picked two other dmc colors that kind of went with it for um the two rows of words there but i really like how it turned out so that's that one the next was a whip that i got um from my friend when my um oh sorry i got an itchy nose um when my um Um, I had a black cat and she was my little baby and she passed away in October and my friend bought me this um, as part of a rem reminder of her. It's a little Mill Hill kit called T Taboo Kitty and I really like how it turned out. And, uh, so I just have to get the magnet glued onto the back and then it'll be uh, ready to go on my fridge for for um, Halloween. The next is one that I fully finished that had been in my um, box and I finished it like a pillow and I cannot remember where I got this pattern from so so I really like how it turned out though. So uh, and the next is another one that I fully finished, and it um, was a freebie pattern that we got from Hands-On Designs. And it's Love You More, and I put little buttons in there for the O's, and then just added some lace and uh, red polka dot material. So, oh, I'm sorry, itchy, itchy nose. <laughs> and then... The next one is another one that I finished. I had a finishing day where I just got things done. So this one is Summer by Lizzie Kate. And then I just uh, put some little cording down the sides. And uh, I changed my original pattern a little bit and added this fence in. They just had big cross stitches at the bottom, so. But that's that one done. And then the next one's another knitting pattern. 
I had stitched this to, or knit this to go into a, um, uh, kind of like a knit along, sorry, <laughs> a knit along that I was in, um, where you had to knit with cotton. So, uh, this kind of a triangle shawl and then the yarn is from Michael's and it come out like this. So, so I really liked how it turned out. I thought it, it's nice to put over your shoulders on a, on a warm evening. And then I can't show you how the next three will look. I have them done, but not fully, fully, fully done. I'll show you the best I can for now. So let me get parts out that I can show you. And then uh, maybe once they're fully, fully done, I'll show you on videos coming up. So. So this one is Springbird. This one is Summerbird. And this one is Christmas Bird. And then this one is not fully finished yet. Um, I'll just put the sticky board behind it so you can see it better. So there's the fall bird. I just can't, I haven't found, like in my stash, I don't have a color uh, fabric for the backing of that one. And now I'll show you roughly what I'm planning on doing. Uh, let me get one out of here again. I'll get Christmas out and show you. So I bought this at Walmart. So this is my plan. So they will sit there and then I will add, somehow trying to figure out how to add extra details for that season. Like this one I have little Christmas lights that I can put along the top of the house and maybe um, a wreath or something on these fences and then I would do something for summer and something for spring and something for fall. But just haven't figured out how to mount them without, um, you know, destroying the the little house part so so that's still a work in progress but I really like how it's turned out put that there and then my second to last one is a pattern by Bent Creek called Bee Dance Bubble Bee Dance And uh, I just did the um, the back stitching all around and put two together, so it's finished with the same fabric on the back. And then I filled it with uh, uh, crushed walnut crystals. And then last time I was here, I showed you um, an ornament that I had done for my daughter. She is a huge fan of SpongeBob. And so this is how I finished it. So there's SpongeBob there. And I just had this sleigh that I got from Dollar Tree. And I just painted it red. And uh, added the cord for to hang it on the tree. Mounted uh, just some red polka dot behind SpongeBob. So it just gives it a little bit of trim around it. I wish that I had done Spongebob on a little bit smaller, like even an 18 count. He would have fit on the sleigh a little bit better, but I like how it turned out. And I think my daughter will love it. So, so those are all my finishes. Quite a few, eh? 25. <laughs> so yeah, I've been busy. Um, I didn't do Stitch Mania this year. I just couldn't wrap my mind around that and I just couldn't think of how I wanted to do it. I was also thinking I might do Christmas in July, but the more I think about it, I just 
really want to just stitch on whatever I want to stitch on right now. And so that's how I'm going to leave it. So I'll show you a couple of my whips that I'm working on. Um, working on the Rufus Hummingbird. And it is by oops, um, Sue Coleman. And it is just about done. So I just have, I think it's um, just a little tiny bit of a, um, the top, like tip of a flower that I have to do just underneath the hummingbird there, right over here. And then it's done. But I needed a break. <laughs> Getting that much done was was a lot of work. So um, I have another one in the works. Um, it's got dogwoods on it. And, um, and then I have some other ones with hummingbirds as well. And then I have um, a loon one of her patterns. The killer whale. I have a seal. I think that's it. But I think I'm going to take a break from from that for now. And there's a couple that I would like to do sooner than that. So, so that's my Sue Coleman, Rufus Hummingbird. The next is the Halloween Bell Pole by Stony Creek. And this one I had to adjust the pattern because... I screwed up and started my cross stitch down too far so I was going to run out of material. So this is what it should look like. I'll just get a little closer and show you. So there's an owl, a ghost, pumpkins, a cat, a witch, another witch, and then Frankenstein and a crow. So mine follows the pattern basically up to, let's see, okay. So, oh, sorry about my itchy nose here. So it follows it all the way to the witch, which I'm working on right now. I had to order um, new glow in the dark. I've put it in a safe place and can't find it. That's where I changed it so that it would fit the rest of my material. So this was supposed to say uh, best witches and I regraphed it to say beware. Then there's the frog. I moved. I like the crow so I moved him in there. And then moved Frankenstein and the letters up and stuff. And so the second witch has been taken out. So that'll be this one here that says come and sit a spell. I figured I could always do that one separate and just as a little pillow. So now today, I'm sorry, she knows, um, my the glow in the dark arrived so I can get this thing. But this is a critic glow in the dark and it works really really well um, I was quite impressed with because uh, I had just done some I think it was the moon I had done some on the witch and I shut my light off and that was the only light that I had going other than in the kitchen and my moon was glowing and it was kind of cool yeah so uh, so that is I'll get that finished and that'll I'll show you that when uh, by the next video it'll all be I'll be uh, ready to hang down hang up in the in the um, for Halloween next is a knitting whip and this is some yarn that I got for my birthday it's um, loops and threads Pull it out here. Barcelona. 
my girlfriend gave it to me. It's got, it's just about all gone here, but it's got purples and grays and everything, and it's really pretty. And this is a corner-to-corner -corner shawl. Oops. Okay. Don't want to lose any stitches here. But it's just plain knitting with some, uh, some yarn overs. But, uh, simple to do when I go to Barrier. I always take it with me and, uh, work on it up there. So, hopefully that one ball is supposed to be enough. We'll see. Maybe it'll be, uh, a very short shawl. <laughs> More like a scarf. Okay. Um, um, I'll show you what I have purchased in the last couple months. It's not been a lot because them sending stuff out is hard, but uh, I got the hands-on design meow. And somehow I want to finish it differently just as a Christmas ornament. Then I'll do this one for myself. But um, And then later I'll order the, the pins because I really like them. I thought they were very cute. The uh, second pattern I ordered is take a breath, gently blow, spread your dreams, and let them grow. And I want to do those, do that for my daughters. And then um, this one came from Traditional Stitches. This one came from Bugs. I think it's Bugs Stitch and Prince George. This is a Traditional Stitches order as well. This is just some uh, Vintage Country Mocha, 18 count. see the modeling and stuff there so uh, just something neutral to do uh, some uh, small projects on and then the next one is um, for a project I have um, Ursula Michaels um, Canada Day in words and normally it's done on white with red floss I want to change that and do it white on red. So I bought 18 count red and uh, that's what I'm going to do that on. So I think that'll hopefully will pop right off of that and look really good. So. And then today's parcel came from uh, the Craft Connection out of Edmonton. And it is the Bell Pole by Stony Creek Meow. And um, the, oh my goodness, it comes with the charms that are at the top here. And then um, the floss that it asks for, they didn't have. It's uh, Weeks Dye Works. Artichoke, and she said that she would look and find something that would court, like go with it, and it is um, 1064 by Threadworks, and normally I would have needed two because all the letters are done in this, but because Weeksta or uh, Threadworks is bigger amounts of thread. Um, I only needed the one and then my glow in the dark is in there too. So they wrapped it um, rather than leave it on the spools. They wrapped it onto bobbins to save me shipping because um, it's easier to uh, to send a bobbin through the mail than it is a spool. So I'm very much appreciative of that. So that is all my goodies. Oh my goodness sakes, can't get over how itchy my nose is. <laughs> um, show you a blast from the past as Canada Day is coming up. So I, um, my husband and I make the bell pulls 
and then um, from Victoria Sampler I bought the book with all the Canada provinces on it. So there's British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, Yukon Territories, Northwest Territories, Nunavut Territories, and then I just did a maple leaf at the bottom, and our home and land at the bottom there. So I just brought that out to hang up for the month of June because Canada Day is right at the beginning of of July. So, uh, oh, I forgot. I bought two more fabrics as well. These are from um, Rolanda in Ontario. So this one is uh, 28 count... Um, it's a 16 by 19 and uh, got some pretty pretty modeling in it and then this one is um, the same it's a 28 count 16 by 17 and uh, it's got a little bit different more greens and stuff in there so uh, no plans for these yet, but uh, I thought they were pretty and can always add some to our stash, right? All right. So I was going to show you a few of my... Um, or things that I have in my bin that haven't been finished yet, but I think I will um, save that for next time. So uh, I will um, talk to you soon. Big hugs from Patty. Take care and happy stitching. Okay, bye bye.